is enough to send a very powerful message to the global marketplace. There are jobs to be created, money to be made, and there, there's a population to respond to in terms of the demand of their citizens. Jobs to be created? I mean, keep in mind, we lost up to 100, 130. Some say when all is said and done, at least 150,000 oil, oil-related services jobs as a result of the slowdown in the global economy. Some would say presaging this attention away from traditional energy that we have a lot of to some of these other uh, strategies that might not yet be tested. Uh, Republican Senator Deb Fisher of Nebraska joining us right now. Senator, do you believe that a lot of jobs that could be in the offing, and would they be enough to offset the jobs already lost in the, in the traditional oil industry? Well, Neil, Americans are concerned about a lot of things. They're concerned about security, and that's national security and economic security. And by watching the performance that went on in Paris this last week, uh, that doesn't calm their fears about economic security. In Nebraska, we understand that the cost will be to every citizen in the state. We are 100 percent public power, and that means that the people of Nebraska own the electrical power in Nebraska, and we're going to be paying for that as individuals, as family businesses, and uh, that's going to be a heavy cost to bear. All right. Now, I don't know whether those are all coal-fired plants, but we've obviously seen Two-thirds are. Okay. And yeah. to your point, then, that's an industry that's been targeted to the administration as dirty and has to be penalized, and we have to see the cost for that go up, maybe prohibitively. Uh, the administration has poo-pooed your talk and some other Republicans talk that those would be very high bills compared to what we have now, but what are you crunching? What numbers are you crunching? Well, you know, as I said, we're a public power state. Two-thirds of our electricity comes from those publicly owned uh, power plants, those coal-fired right. electric plants. We're going to be looking at increased cost. Under the proposed plans that we had under the Clean Power Plan, we were looking at a 26 percent cut in emissions. Under the final rules that came out, that's a 40 percent cut. Uh, Nebraska's hit hard. Nebraskans are some of the largest losers in this new we plan. We should explain, by the and you know this inside and out, but there is a rough correlation between emission cuts and the correlate. The correlation of a, of a similar run-up in utility bills as a result. In other words, if the requirement is to cut emissions by 40 percent, plan on your bill going up 40 percent. So that could be exactly right. Exactly. You know, and we're looking at it hitting consumers. But as I said, when you're public power, it's going to cost you more to turn on your lights, but it's also going to cost you more to buy the goods that businesses provide. And as an owner of those plants, every citizen in Nebraska has to pay for the retrofitting of those plants, or they're going to have to, even if they're closed, the plants are closed, they have to pay for that debt. That doesn't go away. So we are really going to be hit hard. Well, the argument is that Republicans don't have to accept this, that you could fight this, but conversely, the president's saying legally he can pursue this to his to his heart's content. You say what? I say that Nebraska is joined with 27 states in filing lawsuits against this cap and trade scheme that the yeah. administration has come up with. All right. We'll watch very closely, Senator. Thank you very, very Thank much. You. The bottom line for Nick Loris is this uh, climate deal 